Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Peter, for your invite. And really happy to see a lot of the, our Unipay partner here and our merchant here. And Unipay is a is a something a little bit we call is very close to our China people daily use uh, product. And but is coming from China, so I would like to update you if you are first time. Uh, you already have with Unipay, and then you can get more information. And if you are first time heard about Unipay, I hope it can help you uh, create a whole picture about Unipay. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can see from the, the, this presentation cover, you can see some of the iWatch, Apple uh, mobile phone, and also the metro system here and the car here. So. So the number of the Chinese tourists and also the, the Chinese student here, I believe you guys know more clearly than myself. The one thing I'd like to say is the Chinese student. Actually, Chinese student is a very good ambassador to the Australia tourism industry. They travel around Australia, they also bring their relative and their friend to visit here as well. Okay. And I'd like to, I think, help you to create some picture about the car scheme. And probably you will think about who is the world's biggest car scheme. Uh, Visa, Master, or MS, or Discover. Or people will think about Visa, Master have more cars than Unipay, or Unipay have how many cars in circulation. This is uh, something people are always thinking about, and always, because you guys are very familiar with the Visa, Master, MS, and Airports. But here comes the uh, Unipay. Now, actually, Unipay is a Chinese brand and Chinese car scheme that is based in China, and there's only car uh, that denominated in RMB, and Unipay also settled RMB. So right now, we got about uh, 7 billion of car in circulation. Let's uh, make it become the world's biggest car scheme that bigger than Visa, Master, MS put together. And Unipay right now is accepted in 168 countries, and we issue the car in 50 countries and region, uh, all the main out of China. That means each every Chinese tourist come to this market, they carry at least two or three Unipay cars with them. That including the all the mobile payment, the finding or the finding source all from the Unipay. Because in China we don't have a bank car bank account system. Unipay represent or Unipay uh, replace the bank card system or bank account system. So, and right now, the Unipay is a China, we call it the China regulated uh, payment scheme and also most trusted uh, payment scheme in China. So less uh, for each and every Chinese tourist, they're still looking for Unipay, that logo and that facility they can uh, accommodate their payment demands. The reason why is there are a few reasons. It's a direct currency conversion from OG dollar pay to RMB instead of the use a US dollar like the other car scheme. And also no free charge to the car holder when they're doing the currency conversion and same as the, uh, we call it the processing fee. And very important to the Chinese tourists or the Chinese student is that the Unipay payment not called into their uh, annual, I think, uh, personal foreign currency quarter per year. China is a very strict foreign currency uh, exchange country, so everybody have a quarter. That's about 50,000 US dollar or equipment. But any spending from Unipay car or withdrawal from Unipay is not counted into that 50,000 quarter. So that's pretty important. Whatever you have your money or your credit line, you can spend whatever you have. So that's important. And Unipay, we offer the contactless payment. We offer the Apple Pay and any of the uh, mobile payment that not request the Wi-Fi and internet service. When you're shopping in the very busy airport or the department store of the building. That's important for Unipay also, we offer a very solid customer 
or the cardholder benefit. We don't have a trip. We offer them, and everything we take responsibility instead of the use uh, agent. Okay, so this afternoon we are talking about the uh, mobile payment. Yeah, the mobile payment is uh, something in China separate into the two rail. One is the NFC payment, the other one is a QR code payment. And NFC payment is a very similar to Australia tap and go. Everybody know about it. So you can see that in China, we offer the NFC car. It's about a two billion car already. And every new car go into the market that carry the NFC payment functionality. And also, we offer uh, enable all the bank in many of the China that is, they are able to set that the Apple Pay, uh, Samsung Pay, and also the HC Mi Pay. Almost each every China mobile brand they have mobile pay or mobile pay mobile the Uni Pay. Even with the Oppo Pay, there is Oppo and Meizu. That's very popular mobile phone in many of China as well. And also the Swatch and some of the wearable device, they already support NFC. So the other thing is a QR code. The Unipay QR code is a little different to the, the other mobile payment QR code is that Unipay is a EMV QR code. If you are in the payment index, you know the, how important the security is. And EMV is the organization, the government, the payment security, and they offer the very up-to-date chip technology to protect the customer uh, uh, security. So Unipay offer the QR code is the international standard and EMV compliance QR code and also tokenize the QR code. And Unipay online payment, the same as the, the other online payment, we offer the mobile payment, in-app payment as well. And right now, there's about 200,000 uh, Unipay online merchant in China and overseas. And also, the China cardholder, they can link to their PayPal account, so they are able to use in PayPal, uh, account, uh, PayPal merchant about 100, uh, 18 million merchants all around the world. Okay, and Unipay, we did have the Unipay won the U wallet. This is uh, something pretty new to the market. And this is something worth to, I think, explain a little bit because the all bands in mainland China is about uh, 400 bands and then uh, the partnership with the Unipay to create uh, is a banking labor security app. They call the Quick Pass app or Unipay app. This app actually is only launched in the last, day, last year and right now it's about uh, 65 million users already and the growth is pretty, uh, pretty quick, especially growth the Unipay QR code transition. And we provide very popular, I think, functionality that the other mobile payment they can provide. For example, transportation, dining, and also the red pack, very popular red pack in many of China. But at the same time, we provide the bank account open, tier two and tier three open functionality. If you found the bank, one of the bank is offer very good uh, marketing or the benefit, you can immediately open that account with the, this uh, mobile app. And then the bank uh, statement, you can charge your credit card uh, bill statement, and also you can inquire your debit card, all your debit card loaded into this app, the balance of this debit card as well. And also support the, also support the peer to peer uh, uh, fund transfer. So this is integrated QR code and NFC together. So bring the, this app to bring the China two rays of the QR code into, and the mobile payment into one app. Right now, we are able to use in about 80 country, 18 countries in overseas for the NFC and then the QR code for 15 countries. So compared to the Unipay business in Australia, uh, Unipay already partnership with all the big four banks in Australia and major acquirers in Australia to set up the ATM. And most important, more related to you is the uh, point of sale system. That had the Unipay card and also the online and issue the card here. So you can, you can see from the post of sale, the point of sale there's the all before bank and then title currency select or try post and 
very soon dynamic payment as well, and very soon FDI will join the Unipay uh, payment service offer provider. So in Australia, all major bank and financial uh, institutions that already offer Unipay facility to your guys. That also, they offer the payment service for you as well. So for Unipay in Australia, actually we already, I think, here for a few years time, and we offer a more reliable partner to you. Especially the partner you already do, you already partnership with them, you already do your daily process, do your settlement, do your uh, banking uh, transition with them. So there's no extra effort for you to set up that facility or that very uh, different uh, transition flow or the settlement flow with you. And there are no impact to the, your casual training. You can process whatever you process Visa and MasterCard. And that's not only there on the internet on the other area, especially uh, except for the QR code as well. And they follow the global practice, how you process the transition. You receive the cardholder or you receive the visitor from international market. They all use the same uh, way or same the procedure to process. Here is uh, some, I think, uh, partner we uh, work together. That's uh, one of the, um, Andrew just mentioned it. And you can see the Quantas and then the your partner with the Westpay or Trap Post and the Woolworths, JB Hi-Fi, and also University as well. Uh, and David Jones, Waterfall, Chemist Warehouse, and then the Quantas, Woolworths, and the Westfield, they offer some of the benefit of promotion of privilege to Unipay cardholder. That's something you can, I think, study and then learn from. And here is the Chester Shopping Mall. They offer the Unipay uh, privilege or offer the, the Unipay marketing to our cardholder as well. DFS is a Unipay, I think, very successful uh, Unipay uh, merchant. The labs on Unipay grow their business every year at least 30%. And seeing face market, you can see they are pretty love to enjoy the, the benefit from the uh, Unipay offer the, and also the Unipay issue the offer. And at the same time, they also welcome the Unipay use there. Uh, JR duty free work as well. So how Unipay can grow your business? That's uh, always a question we are facing, although lots of Business already have a Unipay uh, facility there, but we still need to do more, uh, especially for the SME business. For Unipay right now, our average ticket size is still $700 per transition. That's bigger, bigger than the Visa MasterCard. And then we don't have a spend dipping for our cardholder, so long they have a funding part with their bank account. I just mentioned the bank account is a Unipay account. And then the biggest uh, transition we have today is 1.2 million OT dollar. That's not counted into their 50,000 US dollar quotation. Otherwise, they are not able to make this transition. And lots of the business, they experience a very good I think, increase in their leverage on Unipay payment service and Unipay marketing platform. So we encourage all our pigeons to participate in Unipay pro, uh, global and local promotion campaign. Leverage on this campaign, you are able to reach the Unipay channel in Man of China or Unipay partner, especially our issuer in Man of China. And Unipay also partnership with the lots of the trouble OTA. The C Trip is our most important partner, and then the Trip device, those kind of the online forum, travel forum, and on OTP also work very close with Unipay and promote our merchant and promote our marketing campaign. Sorry, yeah. So there's very few things that we need to do, although all the before them and major acquirer already set up 80% or do 80% of the job for you guys but we still need uh, some job need to do. The first thing is definitely the double check 
the enablement of the Unipay. A lot of people, they know probably they, they know the importance of Unipay, but they don't know how to enable that Unipay service. Just double check which brand you are working with. Are, you, are they able to offer the contactless or the, the online payment or the mobile payment? If they are not, just contact the bank or contact the Unipay or our acquirer. We can set up that for you. And the second thing, also an easy thing, but it's very important, is the logo display. Put up the logo in front of your shop gap, in your website, your social media, and also your apps to encourage, to try the more Chinese traffic into your business. That's very important. Chinese love to see the, this logo and love to use this product and this service. And the last one is the start training, also very important. So when the customer, the Chinese tourists pull out the Unipay card, you know this is something they love to use. And if they pull out their mobile phone or use their swatch or something, you, 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 you got to tell them, welcome them, this is fine, no problem, I can accept you. So that's very important to educate us, uh, you are a star. And regular training is very important because we introduce lots of the new technology and the new payment innovation product into the market, just like the content as mobile payment and the QR code as well. So in wrap up is that each every Chinese tourist come to this market that carry at least two or three Unipay car with them. And they are really, really love to benefit from the Unipay the privilege or the marketing benefit you offer to them. So they love to use their Unipay card here. So the job for our business to do, especially our, some of the small and medium business, the big business, they more or less they already established, like the, all the department store, all the uh, chain shop, uh, shop uh, supermarkets, yeah, they already do it. But lots of the business, they are not away they definitely need to double check their terminal. They already accept in pay car, and they already put up their logo on their front gate or their counter or their website. And they also train their staff very well to welcome the in pay. And we have a staff here, and also we have a sh of the table outside. If you have question, please come to us. Although Unipay is a car scheme, it's an offer a platform, but we are very happy to connect you to your bank or connect you to our issue in Man of China. Okay, thank you.